I'm Jared Broyles with your morning update. Higher education in Kansas has seen a 4% growth in enrollment this year. The Kansas Board of Regents announced yesterday that for the second consecutive year, all sectors of Kansas higher education systems are experiencing growth. More information on each of these Kansas universities can be found on our website, wibw.com. Topeka's 29th Street will briefly reopen before the next phase of work between Iowa and Colorado streets. The road will have a temporary surface laid down for entry to area businesses before another full closure kicks in Monday from Adams to Virginia streets. Crews will be finishing work on water lines in the area before winter. The project should last another six weeks. We have detours and business entries at WIBW.com. That's a look at some of your 13 News This Morning updates. Of course, you can always visit WIBW.com for more news, weather, and sports anytime, all the time. But right now, let's check in with Daniel for your full forecast. Well, Jared, it looks like we are going to be in for a very hot day this afternoon. 94 degrees here in Topeka is what the official forecast is. We could have some gusts about as strong as yesterday as well, getting up to maybe around 25 miles per hour or so for a very hot October day. I do think we are going to end up being a little bit hotter in some spots further south and west, particularly uh, between Abilene and the Burlington areas, uh, Manhattan as well at 95 and some records may end up being set with these temperatures today. I know in Topeka and Concordia, it's about 96, so unlikely that will match that. But in Emporia, 93 is that record, and that's exactly what we're calling for so far today. So we will have to see whether or not a few of us will manage to get that high. But the potential is certainly going to be there today with, again, those winds helping aid that warm-up process much more quickly. For tonight, though, we do expect the same sort of conditions we saw overnight tonight into this morning 58 a little bit breezier with those winds still sort of left over from the afternoon clear skies though still and no chances of rain really at all for the foreseeable future as the next eight days look to be very very dry not a single cloud icon in sight here so this drought uh, or drought conditions that we've seen across the area are going to continue and we are going to get a little bit of some wind here on Saturday as we do look to have a second day in the 90s but between Thursday and Saturday we will We'll drop back down to around 80 on Friday, uh, back down towards the lower 80s after Saturday uh, to close out the weekend. And generally things are looking to be cooler heading into next week, but still a little bit above average here for October. We're usually in the lower to middle 70s by this point, but it looks like we're sort of keeping up that same trend that we saw at the end of September, staying warm into the fall season.